Pour your pasta in your pan and you want to evenly disperse it just like this. You want to use half a box of orzo pasta here. Evenly spread that so it's nice and dispersed. Do not use the whole box, trust me, I promise. Now we're going to go for sun-dried tomatoes here. We're going to add about eight. One, two, three, four, five. And we're just going to add it evenly throughout. Sun-dried tomatoes are a nice acidic, smoky, beautiful flavor that go really well with any pasta dish. Now, here you go, here's the cheese. Boom, Borson cheese is a very creamy kind of cheese that melts really well and coats everything very nicely. Now we're gonna add our chicken sausage here. We're gonna add chicken sausage and I'm adding the caprice flavor. This is flavored, I like with Italian seasoning, uh, sun-dried tomatoes, and a bunch of Italian flavors that are very nice. So I'm gonna add Italian sausage, I add about two. Perfect. I use this brand, super easy to get at any grocery store. No. I'll cut some more here. Mm. This dish is so easy to make, it takes only one pan. That's why I recommend it to anyone who's a busy person who has no time to cook or no time to clean dishes because you only need to clean one dish. Rough, easy, like that. Now we're gonna get our tomato oil. And you're just gonna pour a little bit throughout the whole dish to give it that flavor and that coating. Now, chicken broth and olive oil, okay? So we're gonna get some olive oil. We're gonna drizzle it. A little right here on the top of the cheese too. That's gonna melt nicely. Now we're gonna add our chicken broth and we're gonna fill it until our dish is fully drowned, but not our cheese, only our pasta and our ingredients here. Boom, perfect. That's the perfect amount. This pasta absorbs a lot of water. So you have to add a lot of chicken broth. So garlic powder, we're gonna go seasoning now. We season heavy here, boys and girls cooks, home cooks, whatever you want to say. Parsley, season heavy guys, because this dish, it needs a lot of seasoning because we're heavy seasoned eaters, right? Onion powder, no one likes to be that person who doesn't season their food and pretend like, oh, that was so good. No, you don't want to be that person who's like, I wish I had a couple of salt. We don't have that here. So we're gonna get basil. Oregano leaves. Red chili flakes. For some spice to really cut down all that flavor. And now some black pepper. And we're going to add some salt. Guys, make sure you add a good amount of salt, big pinches. Perfect. So I add like six big pinches of salt. You want to season your food heavy. And there we go. We're going to toss in the oven at 450 for 20 to 30 minutes until it's fully cooked. Make sure the pasta is fully cooked and submerge. If you need more liquid, make sure you add more liquid. You can see the cheese is done. The whole thing is done. All you're going to do, break it up. That's what you want to see. Scoop it on top. You want to smear it. On all sides first. Schmear. Try to get the schmear even as possible. It's hard to do. 
to follow along. We're going to mix this guy up. Look at that. Right on top. You can eat it like this. Like that. It's like perfect too. But what I like to do is I like to mix it all up. So let me show you the other method. I have the spatula here. I'm just going to dig this guy up. Oh, Lord. You can see everything is cooked nicely. Perfect. It's not too wet. Not overcooked. Hydrated. Looking lovely, right? Oh, my goodness. So you're just going to use a spatula to scoop it all so nothing's sticking. And now you're going to do this. And this is what I'm talking about. Easy one pan meals for you and your family. That's so fast. I'm talking about fast, fast. Right? Yeah, this is so easy to do. You follow the recipes. If you have kids, you leave it in the oven. You can watch your kids. Then you can mix it in front of them. It's like a show. All right, that? That's yeah. what you want. Yep. If it doesn't sound like that, I'm not eating it. That's what good pasta sounds like. Yeah. Yep. Look at that. So this is basically adult macaroni and cheese. Of course. so much better so we're gonna spread that out but look at the seasoning in that that's what you want to see look at the tomatoes that's what you want to see and enjoy this is ready to serve i'm going to give you a taste try for you guys so we can all talk about it together And what I like to do to season it and top it, a little bit of oil from that red, some red tomato. You can't go wrong with that oil. Some Parmesan cheese. Yes, you gotta add more cheese on top of cheese. That's the best way to eat it. And then enjoy it. So I'm gonna get the perfect bite. It's hot. It's so gosh darn good. It's decadent, it's salty. It's a little acidic from the tomato. Every single grain is like covered in chicken broth, cooked nicely, perfectly al dente. Give it a try at home. Hope you guys enjoy.